Capricorn, welcome to your message you need to hear from a person. This is like the second part of the what they aren't telling you reading. Um, this is intended for a romantic love reading, but it could resonate for you in other areas of your life, such as friends, family, um, job, school, money, that sort of thing. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to trusting right? Trusting Truth Tarot, right? Did I say that right? Oh dear. Let me just make sure. Yes, Trusting Truth Tarot. Very good. Okay, uh, much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well if you like what she has to say. That is Trusting Truth Tarot. All right, let's see. Let's take a look here. What's the message that you need to hear, Capricorn, from your person? What is it? Capricorn. For Capricorn. All right. We've got the devil here. There you are, the Capricorn. Right. Judgment. This could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. The way I read it. Three of Swords. <clears throat> the hangman, this could be Pisces or Cancerian. Good gracious. Four, we got heartache and then four heavies. Oh boy, Capricorn. Eight of wands. The moon, that could be Pisces or Cancerian also. If I said Pisces or Cancerian, I didn't mean it. I meant Pisces. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. Temperance, oh golly. Uh, Sagittarius and, oh my God, Capricorn. You got two minors and the rest are all majors. Holy cow. And the sun card, that could be Leo. So we got Sagittarius, Leo, oh gracious. All right, what is going on here? This is someone that probably hasn't moved on since you two have broken up. They're kind of in limbo. And they, there is, well, did you two move away from each other? Huh. Oh Lord, I hope somebody didn't fall off the rails. Mm, I, you know what, I feel like someone's not handling this very well and they might be doing, um, they might be doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing to their body. <laughs> they might not be handling this well and, and have poor coping skills to be dealing with the, the fallout of this because they're pretty darn broken hearted about this. Um, all right, what's this judgment about? And this is somebody that you, you probably left so that you could get some balance restored in your life, so that you could kind of get some semblance of getting your life back because it was probably just a toxic relationship. There was probably all kinds of unhealthy habits and ways of relating, and I'm putting it very mildly. The extreme could be addiction and just, you know, mired in a really toxic, heavy relationship that wasn't thriving but it was just you're you were just it was really holding you back and you needed to get out from under the burden and the heaviness of it and it, oh it feels heavy okay so <clears throat> all right capricorn focus all right what's this judgment card about for capricorn what's this judgment card for capricorn? we got marriage all right so this has somebody reached a decision or are you officially divorced now? Someone reached a decision or are you talking about, like are you taking some time to figure things out so that you can make a decision about your marriage or about a communal living situation with someone? What's this Three of Swords about? The moon, got the moon here his hangman about What's this hangman about knight of wands that could be leo What's this eight of wands about What's this is eight of wands six of wands oh wow 
This feels like somebody is back to old bad habits since the falling out of you and it could very well be that this is someone that can't help it and they're around people that enable and they have it's they're choosing that over connection with you and frankly you're kind of like you know what do whatever because i have got to heal i've got to get some away from this chaos and instability and this this i've got to get away from this so you're, oh boy, what's this moon card about? Oh, Capricorn. I like where you're at because you're away from this situation. This this is something that you don't need to be a part of right now. What's this moon card about? Oof. Okay. This could be someone, Capricorn, that's self-medicating. This could be someone that is not dealing with life in general, not just a breakup with you, but they're not handling this well and they're kind of going to extremes in the way that they're trying to deal with it. Um, they might be relying on friends to help them through this or they might have just suddenly departed, like I can't deal with this anymore and they're, you know, squirreled away to their friends who are enabling or just like, yeah, don't feel, just here, take this, don't, don't feel anything, it's okay and, you know, just work a lot and then, you know, take this and drink that and do, you know, uh -uh. It's, it's like a life of extremes because if the dust settles, if there's quiet, God forbid you face yourself, you think about things, you feel things, you know, that's not always easy. What's this temperance about? What's this temperance about? Eight of Swords. Oh, Capricorn. What's this Sun card about? Hmm. We got the fool here. So this is somebody that whatever you two had, it was going down a different path than was healthy for either of you. It looks like you broke free from this, like you're, you have departed, but it just kind of, as soon as you did that, it's, like, it's almost like this, you both went like this, whoosh, and instead of this person kind of dealing and healing, you know, dealing with it and healing, um, they, Kind of went back to their old ways or they started self -made. they they're doing some pretty destructive unhealthy things because they're um they're not comfortable with how they feel about things this is someone who doesn't like to feel this is someone who doesn't like things to be ugly they it just this is just someone who doesn't like the heavy stuff the heavy emotional stuff and so um it looks like they, while they might be broken hearted because they feel like, oh, there was, you know, I, I just don't know how I feel. I can't, I can't connect. Like I can't get past a certain point in relationships with people. Um, I, I've got this monkey on my back as far as like, you know, I can't trust. I don't, I can't let my guard down. I don't let people near me. And when they do, I hurt them or I, you know, and they, they're conscious of it, but they don't know how not to do it. So inside, it's like they're, they got a lot of stuff that is undealt with that they're very confused by and scared by. And looking at it in the face, it's like, you know, when the abyss looks back, oh my God. So that's kind of where they're at, not to justify behavior, but this is, their, this is very frightening for them. So to get that to not feel that way, there's a lot of adverse behavior they're engaging in and they're hanging out with people post haste, like after YouTube, they went to, um, that crowd to help them deal with all of these confusing and hurt feelings basically and it is good that you have gotten some distance if you haven't get some from this there needs to be distance between the two of you and you need to kind of balance out after all that has happened this person i just i i feel bad because i i, I on the one hand i could feel i'm suffering um, but at the same time, it, you know, pay now or pay later. You either have the pain of discipline or you have the pain of regret, you know? Everybody's bill comes due. <laughs> this is just someone that doesn't like the hard, heavy stuff, honestly. And they don't know how to cope or deal with their feelings, basically. Um, and they are, they are occupied now by 
friends who are trying to keep them busy and are probably enabling and hangers on and they're all kind of doing the same stuff together and it's a way to try to escape their feelings but then it's kind of exacerbating them rather than mitigating and, and kind of you know making them go away it's just kind of magnifying them so this is about you not reaching out do not intervene do not have contact do not this is about you completely closing down and shutting down and getting away from this situation that was toxic and holding you back and holding you down and like just this ugh, you know this ugh, on your back um you you need to normalize and stabilize your life and this is about you moving on to brighter days and a new beginning I think they would like to hear that you would like to give them a second chance, that we can work this out, let's work together on this. But I think this is more about you not making any decisions so that you can get some semblance of your life, that you can get some normalcy, you can get some stability, you can get some groundedness back in your life. I don't think this is about working it out with someone or you two coming out of this situation together whatever was created. I think this is about you two going your separate ways and I think you really need to just be unto yourself for a while. The thing is, is that while they might have feelings about this, they're uncomfortable with the way they feel. They don't do heartache and sadness and confusion and um, the, any kind of stability, they sabotage it. So they know this, but they don't know how not to. It is simply too painful and too... Um, frightening to be in the moment to be still and to have all of that kind of bouncing off the walls inside of you but to for them to be the container that contains that and thus sending the message I'm in charge it's okay we got this this is how we're going to do this and I'm going to do it and I'm going to follow through and I'm going to be they can't do that for themselves they can't take care of themselves emotionally and so it's it's just really hard for them and, and they butt up against this in every situation in their life. They're very itinerant. So it is not for you to fix. It is not for you to get in there to fix, to solve, to handle. You have to walk away because it's going to take you down with it. That's the thing. It'd be one thing if it, you know, someone's responding well to guidance or whatnot, but this is not somebody that wants to be helped or is ready to be helped. It's just, it's too painful, it's too hard. So, it's about, excuse me, it's about you, for one thing, understanding that. And as hard as it is, you're gonna have to restrict yourself and not intervene. This, I mean, the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands, you two both go your separate ways and rely on friends to help. Keep yourself busy, keep yourself working towards you know, what goals that you have, but not together. This is not about you two resolving it together. What else for Capricorn? Yeah. Five of Wands. There's that conflict. And it wasn't, it just wasn't, It could be there was conflict because of suspicion. Like someone was just, the more, the closer you got, the the more time you spent together, and there's we're talking longevity here, we're talking about judgment, but the more you had together, the more suspicious they became and the more insecure they became because they just, there was all this what if, what if, and I just, the more, the more longevity, the more insecure they became. Um, and this is someone that if we're not, if we're not talking about abusing substances and, and doing, you know, self-medicating, this is someone that is, resorting back to old coping mechanisms that were not helping in the first place and are, are magnifying this moon effect, this fear of the unknown, this, you know, being terrified of, um, and suspicious and paranoid and, and just sabotaging any kind of intimacy or vulnerability. All right, what else for Capricorn? Which is really hard because logic would be like, you know what, they just need a safe place to land. I can do that. I'm good. You know, I got big shoulders. I got this. I've been around a few times. We all have luggage instead of baggage at some point. But it's it's never that simple because it it's like a this this insecurity and that that wound or whatever it is. It's like a virus because it 
if as soon as you adapt, it changes the game, like it moves the target or it, it takes on a different strain because this is, the point is, this is someone that has to deal with it internally and they have to deal with it. It's, some, it's not something anybody else can do. And the more, it's almost like the more available you try to be for them or the kind, you know, just that kind of open, unconditional acceptance, that actually has the opposite effect. It, it threatens them. It makes them scared. It's like, it's too safe. They have to, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just unfortunate because they really could use the safety and the kindness and the stability. And yet they want nothing more than to run from that because eventually it's going to give out and they don't want to have their guard let down. And I mean, it's just, it's this vicious cycle that, oh, it's very sad to watch. What else for Capricorn? So if you, no, don't feel like a failure. If you have been feeling like, okay, I, I can't do this. I, you know, yes, you can. You need to get out from under that thinking and you need to go forward towards your brighter days with confidence and a light heart. And you are out from under this. The worst is over and it's day by day, one foot in front of the other. Don't sweat the small stuff. Day at a time, get some perspective, breathe. And don't, don't do that. There's nothing for you to have done in this situation. It takes two. You can't fix them. It has to be something they want to do. You're not responsible. Mm. Mm. All right. What else for Capricorn? Sorry, I don't know if you could, it says failure. Don't you feel that way? I know for Capricorns, it's like, that's the one thing that, you know, you can call me a lot of things, but I'm no quitter and I'm no slouch and I get the job done. And so to experience failure because you just couldn't get on the same page because there was bickering or because, I mean, your, your ego takes a hit. It's like, oh my gosh, if I can't do that, what good am I? Or, you know, that's where you find your validation. So this is all about you not seeing this as a failure. You can't fix this. Your job is not to fix this. Your job is to stand down and know when to quit and pull out. Don't turn that into a euphemism. <laughs> the dirty, naughty. D so, cut the tie with this so that you can move forward and stop beating yourself up. It's meant to be a lesson, not a life sentence. And I know that's, you know, all these, these quips and, you know, adages and all that, right? But honestly, you're going to be able to let yourself off the hook in time. And um, that's going to be something that you're going to need to remember is that this doesn't define you. And this isn't a failure. You know what's a failure is not leaving and, and going down with the ship. That's a failure. Years ago, it was really shameful to break up a marriage, like to, to divorce. There was, that was the shame was divorce. And now the shame is not divorcing. The shame is staying when you shouldn't. Same thing here. A failure would be to stay and try to involve yourself in something that you're, you, you can't fix this. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be able to go on to better things for yourself. This is not the situation for you. In time, you will see that it is that simple. What else for Capricorn? Oh, gosh. Okay. There we are. There's that ending, the world. Didn't we have the world here somewhere else? I thought we did. Yes, we didn't. Okay, this is over. New beginnings. Very simple. That This could have been the whole reading right here. It's over. Move on to other things. <laughs> right. Um, so we've got the sun and we got the... This is new beginnings. This is, this is brighter days ahead for you. This is awareness coming over and it's setting you free. So that you're walking with your head held high and you're on to bigger and better things. 
coming full circle, you understand this and you are excited for your future prospects and prosperity. This is not something that's going to define you or hold you back anymore. It may take some time, may take some of you longer than others, but this is something that you'll get perspective, thank God, because I was a little worried, <laughs> that you'll get perspective on uh, in time. And I really do hope that you're not beating yourself up and that you feel, I hope you don't feel that. You can for a little while, put the timer on, give yourself 20 minutes, maybe a day or so, but then after that, you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to get back on the road and you're going to keep walking. Okay. I hope this was helpful and I wish you safe passage and understanding. And I hope to see you in the next reading, Capricorn. All right. You take care.